How can I revert to 12.3.3? Welcome to the channel, and this video is not about any expected failure of 12.4.0, but it's good practice to have a backup. Explain 12.4.0 has been released in beta. I'm just going to spend a few moments showing you what I believe is the best practice way of updating as we're going to preserve our current installation whilst being able to enjoy the new beta stuff. And I'm going to share with you as well another tip about if you've got things like Sim Heaven, like I've got, we don't need to copy that twice, so we can just create that as a separate copy, separate installation if you like, and just shortcut it back. So we'll cover that at the end. So you are going to need some disk space. Notice on my E drive, which is my dedicated flight sim drive, I've got uh, just over 400 gig free, more than enough. Feast your eyes on this one. That's my current X-Plane installation that has run in 12.3.3. We are going to make a new folder. We're going to open up a new window and go into that beta one, whilst at the same time going into the prod one. Note as well that there's another file in there. That just serves as a reminder to me to tell me that that's the prod copy. It's not the, going to be the beta copy copy all of that lot into the one that we've called beta. Within your new copy, let's rename this just to say that this is beta 12.4.0. Time to have some fun. Launch your beta folder and then within there the installer. Choose check for betas. You'll be prompted to which folder that you are going to update just double check that we're doing the right one the whole point of doing this is to update and play with a second copy so we want to preserve that one Now the other thing, just to share with you, I've recently cleared out my custom scenery folder, just choosing to leave in there the objects, airfields that are installed with x so there's nothing additional in there. So looking at Sim Heaven on the right hand window, I've chosen to put this into a separate folder that lives outside of x -Plane. Advantage of that, if I now want to install this into beta, see how it looks, I'm just going to select everything, right click it drag it over but it's absolutely important that you do not click copy you do not click move just click create shortcuts here so what we're doing we're leaving that there we're just putting these points there and thereby we're saving this space if we was to do this say and have it in the prod folder simultaneously so here you go you can see my scenery packs .ini file i've just made the changes just ensuring that the sim heaven comes below the airports and you can see it points to the full folder name. It's enough from me, go and enjoy 12.4.0. Hopefully that's given you an insight into uh, another benefit of keeping your scenery separate. For me, it makes sense to have a look at the defaults when a new version is released. It's probably time to stop and think, do you actually need those additional sceneries? Again, your preference going to be different to mine. Just giving you some ideas. Do like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon on a future video. Take care. Bye-bye. I wish I had listened to the airline simmer. If only I had two. <laughs>